what will kill us the coronavirus or the human stupidity over the past few weeks like most of you all i've been tracking the menace of coronavirus and how it has become a pandemic across the globe but what really intrigued me was not the spread of virus in itself but the human behavior patterns and how these patterns are further fueling the spread of the virus please note this is not a medical advisory but a behavioral advisory to take us through these challenging times because coronavirus may not kill us but these behavior patterns are sure to kill many more than what is expected with the onset of covid-19 in india one of the biggest challenges that we face is not the virus or its treatment in itself but the careless or indifferent attitude that many among us still carry not realizing the challenge or the gravity of the challenge that we face today despite our best efforts we have moved from the stage 1 which is importing of cases through people who have traveled abroad to the stage 2 which is the local transmission happening as a result of people who have traveled abroad and are spreading the virus knowingly or unknowingly but the bigger challenge is to avoid getting into stage 3 because that's when we do not know where the source of the virus is and from whom it is spreading globally as on 20th march 2020 over 2.5 lakh people have been infected with the virus and over 10000 deaths have been reported alarmingly that's a three fold increase in number of cases in the last one month alone and a three fold increase in deaths over the last 10 days alone while the indian government has sprung into action quickly with the reported cases still being under 200 and only four deaths being reported we enter a critical period of next 2 to 3 weeks when the fate of our country will be decided because that's when a typical outbreak happens and the virus spreads rapidly across the country let me share with you a few assumptions of people with irrational or stupid behavior patterns first in a country of 130 crore people only 200 have been infected and only 2 to 3 people in my city so why should i be worried did you know that the countries which are experiencing rapid outbreak in the number of cases or deaths presently like italy spain germany iran us were exactly the same position as we are today 20 days back and since then have seen a rapid outbreak in the number of cases reported on a daily basis although we have limited importing of the cases by limiting international travel first from china and now to many other infected countries but the local transmission was always on the rise and that is where the greater challenge is over 40% of the cases reported in india are through local transmission and the cases that are now being diagnosed are still people who have traveled back to india over 15 days back imagine the number of people that they may have come in contact with and the risk it poses assumption 2 only the elderly are at risk of death and i am young i need not be bothered about it while i agree that the risk of death is higher in the elderly but the bigger challenge is a lot of younger generation is asymptomatic meaning they do not see the signs of the flu until late and until then they could well become the carriers of passing on the virus to the larger public in general if you are young you would well survive the virus but you'd curse yourself for passing on the virus to your family to your friends to your neighbors and to the larger public in general covid-19 is 10 times more riskier than a normal flu and even more riskier for people with pre-existing diseases and lower immune system you would want the blood of others on your hands and it is still early days to assess the permanent damage that has happened to people who have recovered from the virus assumption 3 let me use this lockdown as an opportunity for a much needed travel break despite the government advisory the trains are full the mumbai juhu beach is crowded than ever the temples are being thronged by believers the traffic jams are still intact if you are still out there enjoying the social gatherings or using these post leaves for a vacation remember we have a far bigger problem than covid-19 you because you are never part of traffic jam you are the traffic jam the government is imposing these self imposed curfews because the next 2 to 3 week period is crucial and that's where everyone as an individual is responsible for how this pans out in india the purpose of government's recent announcement of having a self imposed curfew is purely to flatten the curve by flattening the curve economies have found that they delay the peak 
number of cases the number of cases and the resolution of those cases by managing the capacity of hospitals and the support that we have there have already been reported cases of people with covid-19 knowingly or unknowingly traveling by trains flights and buses roaming around in malls and people who are already under quarantine or been advised to be in isolation just roaming around casually wouldn't that be any less than a homicide i request everyone to start social distancing and avoid every other non essential activity that you're doing right now to avoid an outbreak of so coronavirus in india if you find any signs of the basic symptoms of coronavirus please contact your doctor immediately and start isolation let's distance ourselves for ourselves and for our loved ones even gods have shut shop and are praying for our future this video is not to make you paranoid but to sensitize you towards the risk that i play right now let's not become the next china italy france or spain listening to their news flow every morning is already painful enough let's learn from their mistakes let's be responsible let's act responsible jai hind